I'm going to make some brioche and out of the brioche I'm going to make a brioche loaf. To start, I'm going to soften up some um, yeast in some warm milk. I have a third of a cup of warm milk, 100 to 104 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer for baking, you really need to invest in one. They're not that expensive, but you do need it for baking. And then I'm going to put in two and a half teaspoons of my yeast. And now I have to let this sit here for five to 10 minutes so that it can proof and get bubbly, even though I know it is active because I've used it today already. Now, one note about brioche. If you've never had it, boy, are you missing out. It is, it is so wonderful. And if you have had it, this is a pretty good recipe. So I'm gonna let that proof for a few minutes and then we'll come back and proceed with the recipe. The yeast has had some time to sit and proof. Now we're gonna proceed with the brioche. In my mixer bowl, I have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And to that, I'm going to add the yeast mixture. I'm going to try to get all that yeast out of there. These are all living organisms. I want everything in there. And I'm just going to mix this lightly on the mixer just to get it blended. I have a third of a cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and five eggs. I also have two sticks of butter, which I'll talk to you about later. That's what makes brioche delicious. So now I'm going to add the salt, the sugar, and now the eggs. This is just making a batter. It's nothing unusual. Okay, and I have a spatula here because every once in a while the flour gets accumulated around the edges and I just want to push it down into the mixture so that everything gets moist. And you just have to wait until it all comes into a mess. It's just starting to come to a mess. As soon as all of the flour is mixed in, it's going to look like a shaggy mess. Don't worry about it. Start timing it and mix it. Continue to mix it like this for 10 whole minutes. You really have to do that. Uh, in this recipe, that timing is very, very important. I'm almost there. I can still see a lot of flour around the edges. Our mixer's been on for a full 10 minutes. The dough still looks sticky. Don't worry about that. We're going to make an even bigger mess. Now I have two sticks of butter. Now the butter is soft, but it's not soft. It's got to have just a little bit of coolness to it. If you take it out and you leave it at room temperature and it gets too warm, put it back in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. You, you, if it's too, too soft, this dough is not gonna work out very well for you. So now the fun begins. We start adding the butter, a couple of pieces at a time. You don't have to wait for it to get all incorporated because it's going to take a while for that to happen. So I'm just gonna keep adding butter and this is gonna get gloppier and gloppier. And it's almost going to look like it's not going to, you're going to look at it and say, this is never going to incorporate. It's never going to get mixed in. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Trust me. I'll show you. All right. There's all the butter in there. Now I just have to keep mixing it. I'm going to turn it up just a little and just let it keep mixing until, until it looks like the butter is almost all mixed in. That can take three or four minutes, maybe five. All right, I can still see little pieces of butter in there, but 
for the most part, it's almost all mixed in. So now I'm going to start my timer again for five minutes this time and let it go the full five minutes. Okay, the brioche has been mixing now for another five minutes, so I can take it off the mixer. And because normally when I would make any kind of yeast dough and I put it into a bowl to rise, I spray it with cooking spray. But because this is brioche, I buttered the um, bowl. Butter brioche, buttered bowl. Everything's better with butter. All right. This is still very, very sticky. Don't worry, that's exactly the way this recipe should be. Okay, I'm going to take it out. And you're not gonna be able to get everything off the side. Some of it's gonna stick. Just get the majority of it off. Now, what I am going to do, I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap. I'm going to let it rise at room temperature for two hours. At the end of the two hours, I'm gonna uncover it. I'm gonna put some flour all over my hand and I'm going to go around the dough and deflate it, just getting it all down. I need the flour because it's still gonna be sticky. After I've deflated it, cover it with plastic wrap, and then it's going to go into the refrigerator overnight and then you can use it the next day. So. I'm gonna go put this away and we'll be back and form the bread. I have one half of my brioche dough and I'm going to make a brioche loaf of bread. This bread is absolutely terrific, eaten plain with butter, toasted, as French toast, it's outstanding. I'm gonna put a little flour. I've got a, a buttered, not greased, a buttered uh, bread pan here. And I've got my half. Now, I could do this strictly by rolling it out with my hands, but I think I'll roll it out this way. And I just want to roll it to the length, very sticky, roll it to the length of the pan, which is about there. This goes together fairly quickly. Now, let's get rid of some of that excess flour and just roll the dough up. Not tightly, just let it be kind of loose. Get rid of the dough, I mean the excess flour. Now, get our pan, put our dough in our pan, kind of fit it in there and then press down so that it fills up all the corners. And try to keep the thickness as uniform as possible. Because so I can see there's a thinner spot here. And this is about as simple as you can get. Now, I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and let this sit at room temperature for about two hours. Then I'm gonna take it and put it in the refrigerator for a minimum of four hours or overnight before baking. That's it, real easy to make a loaf. So I'm gonna go let this rise and we'll bake it off later on. Here is our brioche loaf out of the oven. After it rose, I brushed it with an egg wash and then put it in a 375 degree oven for approximately 30 minutes. I used a long skewer from the side just to make sure that the center was clean before I took it out. I left it in the pan on a rack for 10 minutes after taking it out of the oven and then I turned it out and left it on this rack. It's still pretty warm, but this is an absolutely delicious loaf. It may not look as special as, the, as a coffee cake or something like that, but I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna be a great bread.